Hi guys, so today my video is going to be on why I decided to pursue tattooing, how I got a tattoo apprenticeship, and then also walk you through the portfolio that I use to get a tattoo apprenticeship. So like and subscribe below. Okay, how did it all start? Hmm, where do I start? Well, first of all, I have literally been drawing since I was born. Um, I've never been able to stop drawing. I always have a pen in my hand. Not always, but my mom jokes that I was literally drawing since I popped out of the womb. Um, so I went to design school and after design school, I fell in love with branding and I decided that I wanted to pursue that. So I worked at an agency for a little bit and then did some freelancing. And I always had this feeling inside me that illustration was something that I, I really wanted to pursue. Um, yeah, so what happened from there? I guess it was during COVID. I was freelancing and I remember going for a walk with one of my best friends. Shout out to Hannah. Um, and she, she told me that she pictured me being a tattoo artist and having my own studio, um, like my own art studio and also being a tattoo artist. And I was like, wow, that actually sounds like my dream life. Um, so after that walk, I went home and I really, really thought about it and I decided that I wanted to give it a shot and then what happened? I guess after that, I just started drawing a bit more, like even more than I normally was, but it was all on the iPad, um, cause I had fully transitioned from traditional to digital and I decided that I wanted to teach myself. So uh, yeah, don't do that. Luckily I didn't. I mean, it works for some people, but every tattoo artist that I talk to um, tells me to like learn the actual traditional way because you are, uh, you're actually like puncturing someone's skin and you don't really want to cause them a disease or something. So anyways. In my head, I was like, I'm going to teach myself. Not a good idea. And then one day out of the blue, I was like, I'm just going to get a machine. So I, on Amazon, like what? Who buys a tattoo machine on Amazon? I don't know. Maybe some people do, but got all my stuff into my cart, was about to check out and buy the machine. And I was like, I should just call Willem, who's my boyfriend, but he was one of my best friends at the time. And I wanted to just run it by him and see what he thought. So I, I called him up and I was like, yo, like I'm gonna get a tattoo machine. I'm just gonna teach myself. And I thought he'd be stoked. And he was like, do not buy a tattoo machine on Amazon. You literally know like nothing about tattooing. Anyways, I was minorly pissed off, um, but I took his advice because I love him and I appreciate his advice. And I didn't buy the machine. So I decided to message like 50 different tattoo artists on Instagram and just get there. I wanted to hear their journey and like better figure out how I would go, like, go about getting an apprenticeship because I honestly had no idea how. Like I literally had one tattoo. I'd been tattooed once, yeah. Oh no, I had two, one stick and poke and one regular one. And so I started reading and talking to people and networking and everybody said, just get tattooed, start getting tattooed. Um, so yeah, I literally got blasted last summer. Um, I went from one tattoo to like, I don't know, I have a lot of tattoos now. Um, and that really allowed me to talk to people and to network and to learn and really figure out if it was something that I also wanted to pursue. And it definitely was. Um, so I started working on my portfolio and what happened after that? I guess it was last, yeah, last fall. Oh no, around Christmas, I was like going hard at my portfolio and I was getting ready to start taking my portfolio around to some shops and stuff. And one of my friends, he reached out to me and said that there was a girl who graduated from the same design program as me that I should totally link up with and get some advice on my portfolio. And he said that she was also going to be starting a new tattoo shop. So I reached out to her and got no reply. And he messaged me a little bit later and was like, 
oh, did Nat ever get back to you? And I said, no. And he literally told me to pester her. So I kind of pestered her and I said, I need to meet up with you. And luckily she said yes. And so we met up and she brought uh, Steve, who's her business partner for this new tattoo shop. And it was my first time meeting them. And we met up for a drink and I brought my portfolio, which was, mm, it was very basic. Like there was like six pieces and they were all pink and purple. Like I, they were cool, but like I had no variety and there just wasn't a lot in it. So they took a look at my portfolio and gave me a bunch of advice. They said I needed to try every style, I needed to evolve it, I needed to work with different colors, I needed to try black and white, I needed to try whip shading, all of these, uh, spit shading, all of these different things that I really needed to incorporate into it to have a solid portfolio. And I'm a very determined person, so I was like, okay, let's, let's do it. So, um, I went home and literally started and during, yeah, during the winter time I was drawing every single night and uh, I was trying to do like two to three hours a day and then, let's take a pause. Yeah, so I was drawing two to three hours a day on top of working, uh, working a part-time job designing and then also doing freelance. So it was quite a lot for me. Um, and then, oh yeah, okay, so that was in about, honestly, it was only, probably only about three months that I did that for, December, January, February, March, maybe it was around my birthday, maybe three or four months, um, and so I hit up Nat again, and I was just like, hey girl, like, I'm ready to meet up again for another portfolio review, and she was so supportive and nice and met up with me to go over my portfolio. And so we met up, I brought my big portfolio and we sat down, had a drink, started talking and then, oh man, I wish I had this on video. So I went to the bathroom and I came back from the bathroom and sat down and that, this is, yeah, this is after she, no, 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 wait, did she look at my portfolio first? Yeah, yeah, obviously she looked at my portfolio first. Okay, so she went through my portfolio and was like, told me that I'd done really well and I'd listened to her feedback and her critique and um, my portfolio was looking really good. And I obviously was so stoked to hear this because I'd worked really, really hard on it. Um, I went to the bathroom and I came back <laughs> and I sat down and she goes, so do you want an apprenticeship? And I will never forget that moment. I, I thought I was, I was like, no, no, you're kidding. Like, what? And she's like, no, do you want an apprenticeship? And I was like, no, you're kidding. And she's like, no, I'm not kidding. And I was just like in shock, mostly because it was so fast. Like I did not really, ex I thought I was gonna be working on my portfolio for like at least a year. So I don't know, it was mostly luck, um, knowing people, networking, and then also hard work, like really, really, really hard work. I worked every day at it. Um, so yeah, she offered me an apprenticeship, which I have not started yet. Um, so she, her and her business partner, Steve, are starting a tattoo shop together and they are, they were looking for some, for a shop girl to work at the front desk and then also do an apprenticeship. Um, so honestly, it had everything to do with timing, luck, who you know, like the fact that she also went to the same design program as me is pretty damn cool. Um, and I am beyond stoked for my apprenticeship, like beyond stoked. And I'm so grateful. Like I went home and bawled my eyes out and danced for like two hours. Um, and then I bought myself a pair of platform tie-dye Crocs because that was my reward for getting a, an apprenticeship. So yeah, that's, that's the story of how I got my apprenticeship. Um, am I missing anything out? I don't think so. Um, I think now I'll just walk you guys through my portfolio. So here we go. Okay, so I was trying to set up 
something so you guys could see this here but yeah. i'm new to this whole youtube thing so i think it's easier if i just uh hold the camera and walk you guys through this so i have a pretty big portfolio and i would suggest not going with something this big but here it is with my stickers that are half taken off anyways i need to decorate this so here we go not totally sure what to tell you guys as I flip you through this. I think I just want to show you this, especially for aspiring tattoo artists. Um, if you're like, I know that I was looking for a lot of advice on uh, what my portfolio should consist of. And it's really different for everyone. And I've heard a lot of things on YouTube. But anyways, this is what worked for me. So this is... I did coffee staining for this one. Um, as you can probably tell, I want to pursue American traditional style. So that's what I've done in my portfolio. I've heard a lot of different things. Some people say you should do different styles throughout your portfolio. I think in my actual apprenticeship, they're gonna make me try different things, but for my portfolio, I decided to roll with American traditional style. I love drawing women and animals. Those are my favorite things to draw. Oh, empty cage. That was full. I think I just hated it and I took it out. Oh yeah, and like, don't put things in your portfolio that you aren't proud of. There's really no point. This is also coffee staining. These ones are actually done on marker paper with Copic markers. These are done with gouache and acrylic ink on watercolor paper. Actually, no, I think these ones are on marker paper. I'll do another video later on types of things that I use for different pieces. I just wanted to walk you guys through my portfolio in this video. This is one of my favorites, actually. I really, 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 really love color and I have a difficult time not using color. And it's funny because personally, I wouldn't get any tattoo colored tattoos on my body, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna want to pursue color for tattooing. Although when I'm able to stick to black and white, I really do love it. This is one of my favorite pieces, actually. This is done with pencil crayons. Rachel Clark actually um, gave me the advice to try this. She does some really pretty pieces with pencil crayon. This is another one of my favorites. And then just some typography here. You're so strange, it's attractive, wacky alien. <laughs> 